Um, okay, so we've got that all squared away, and now we're good to continue further. Um, so another thing I wanted to look at here, back on this map, uh, I'm going to go into the map editing view. Now, before we were talking about the shadow pen a little bit, and I saw as I was, you know, editing the first parts of the video and stuff that uh, there's some spots here that look kind of funky. And this is where you may, if you want to use the shadows at all, like maybe you don't. So uh, you could, if you wanted to get rid of all the shadows, all you got to do is start by clicking on the spot where there is one of the shadows. And then you can just hold the mouse button down and drag down and then it gets rid of all the shadows for you. Maybe you like that look better. Uh, that's fine. Any of these square shadows, you can do that too. But by default, it tries to, uh, you know, automatically put in the shadowing for you, uh, especially when you use the auto tile versions of things. So like the cliffs here or, you know, this, this wall for, you know, uh, buildings and stuff, uh, structures and all that. Whoops, uh, I didn't mean to do that. So I do. But um, at certain times, you might want to manually touch it up a little bit uh, because you'll notice here by default it makes uh, about I think it's an entire yeah it looks like an entire tile worth where it doesn't do the shadow because it um, it tries to do from like perspective because in general the way that these shadows work and you can see from the shadows here too on the trees and stuff uh, you can't erase those ones by the way you can only do the little square uh, the square ones, but but in general, the the upper left corner is the assumption to where the your light source is. So, and you can see that by like the you know down to the right in a diagonal way is how the shadows tend to go. So, um, so it makes sense that they do it, but at certain times, for example, like here where you only have one tile, now there's like no shadow at all, and that. Mm, I don't know I mean maybe that's okay but if it's up to you sometimes it looks kind of weird uh, so but if we did shadows all the way up you can see that looks kind of wrong like it, it's not if the light source was coming from this way this doesn't make sense but having it be like that can work so you can do one higher than what it does if you want um, and this is all up to you this is really a personal preference thing for sure uh, but for me I noticed some things about this map that I would change if it was me and I don't that you know that by default the the uh, you know the software doesn't really do it this way but this is where I would come back in with the shadow pen a little bit and touch it up so for example we can just do like this and then that looks maybe okay you know a little bit more shaded but we don't have to we could even leave it like that and I don't even mind that it looks like that I think that's okay for right there uh, but my main things that I noticed that I didn't really like how it did was you can see here it's blank uh, you know, there's no shadow here. Now, that could work okay, like if the end of the cliff, cliff was right here, but the way that the auto tile does it, it seems to suggest that the cliff continues on, you know, further than we can see up off the end of the map. So, probably this would keep, you know, the cliff would go further, and so having a gap here is a little bit strange. So, what I would do for this particular spot is I would use the shadow pen and fill in all the way. So there, now you can see, okay, well, the cliff keeps going for sure because there's the shadow. And, you know, so it's little touches like that sometimes where you may just want to, you know, do a little something. And then in these spots where there's two, or I'm sorry, where there's just one tile here, you may want to do something like that just to add a little bit more definition there because then see if, if, it's, if it's without any, you know, shading at all for the shadow, it looks okay. But I personally say, like, if you just add one little square right there, it makes it kind of pop and you can see oh there's a little bit more depth there than you know than what you thought before necessarily and and you know because it's only one tile worth the auto tile creation of the shadows is never going to put a shadow right there because it you know again it leaves a whole tile worth of blank space so i would go back in here if it was me and it is so i would go back in here and add one there and add one right there and then that gives it a little bit of an appearance of, hey, there's some depth here. You know, it adds a little bit more depth, a little more visual, you know, distinction and things like that in in this bottom area, where which didn't look all that interesting. It would look kind of plain before. So I personally think it looks good like that. Um, 
you may not, and that's fine. You're, you're free to do it however you like for your game. And then uh, one other spot here, you'll notice that it seems kind of strange. The shadows show up on the ground here, but nothing shows up on this cliff. So to me, if I'm looking at it from a perspective of the lights coming this way, some of this cliff would be shaded too, instead of just the ground. So same with over here. So what I like to do in this case is bring the shadow actually up onto the cliff a little bit. And it doesn't have to be high. It could be, you know, maybe about there or even one more. Maybe you can even do just, you know, everything but the top tile. It's up to you where you think looks good. Um, maybe right about there, tile and a half. But you can see by adding a little bit more of the shadowing in there, it just gives it a little bit more of a realistic appearance to where, you know, you would get some shading from this. Because this is a tall cliff. It's three, you know, three, three tiles high. So it's not, you know, it's not a tiny little thing. So, um, I'm, so I'm kind of trying to decide right now whether I want three up or, you know, four up from you know the whole tile or a tile and a half three but we can do it here too and you can see a little bit um how it just kind of yeah i think for that one looks good with four looks better uh, but it just kind of adds some you know a little bit of realism to it uh, unfortunately i really wish you could do like a if you could take one of these squares and like cut it in half diagonally like a triangle where it's only covering like half you know, I really wish they would have given you some kind of option to do that because that would look a lot better at the top of this. Like you could do, you know, if you can just imagine like half a tile. But unfortunately, it just works in squares, so you you know you got to do whatever you've you've got to work with. But um, so I think we'll just leave it like that. I think three looks pretty good. But so that gives you an idea, you know, of ways you can use the shadow pen a little bit to just kind of spruce things up a little compared to how it does by default you know whatever whatever you want to do with that um, so that's and again this is all totally optional you can go back in and erase every single shadow if you want uh, and you don't have to have the shadows at all I the way that I personally like to do it is I will usually have the shadows for outdoors and then I will actually take the shadows out when it comes to indoor environments because to me it doesn't make as much sense having a you know global light source up in the top left corner when you're indoors so um, but that's just me uh, you're, you're free to do it however you like so I just wanted to show that a little bit so that just gives you some ideas to how you can maybe improve the, sh the lighting and, and shading a little bit uh, compared to how it does it by default so that's pretty good there um, I think I'm pretty, you know, a little bit more satisfied with how that looks. Yeah.